Chip Roy raises a burning question about the Justice Department's decision not to indict Joe Biden for mishandling confidential documents. Addressing Attorney General Merrick, he draws a sharp comparison to the charges against former President Donald Trump for similar actions. But a final question in my last minute. The Department of Justice did not assert privilege with regard to the transcript, correct? That's right. Uh, and, uh, and you that's... articulated a minute ago to my colleague that the best evidence rule says that the transcribed copy is admissible, right? But, but how can you claim privilege in the face of not just a legislative inquiry, but a constitutional impeachment inquiry? How can you claim privilege for something that you just testified was effectively the same thing? How can you claim privilege for the audio of the transcript you just testified was the same? I just testified the words are the same. Sensing an audio is different. You have not given any explanation, and there's nothing in the impeachment resolution that uh, would make a difference with respect. Well, to I respectfully audio. disagree. I would ask you one last question. Is the decision not to prosecute President Biden for effectively the same crime for which DOJ is prosecuting President Trump? Is it because DOJ has determined the president is not mentally fit to defend himself and stand trial for his crime, but former President Trump is? I say again, that's an inaccurate description of Mr. Hur's uh, report. Um, and I would rest on Mr. Hur's report. It's the only assertion he made. The principle of rule of law and the expectation of equal treatment under law are at stake here. Roy's query shines a light on a perceived double standard in justice. Joe Biden appears to be given a more lenient pass compared to Donald Trump. Biden's mental health focus and the choice not to prosecute him suggest an imbalance in how justice is served, shaking public trust in the system's fairness. We hold dear the accountability and transparency of our government. Roy's pressing demand for an explanation from the Justice Department is an effort to hold the administration accountable and maintain transparency in the legal process. Biden's remarks about memory issues, followed by the decision not to prosecute, cast a shadow of doubt over the Justice Department's transparency and raise suspicions of political bias influencing legal decisions.